Samsung unveiled its new smartphone, the Galaxy Note 8, at a ceremony yesterday in New York. The company's top U.S. executive is speaking out for the first time since last year's botched rollout of the previous model. Dozens of people reported Samsung Note 7s overheated, melted, or exploded, prompting airline bans and a massive recall. The CEO of Samsung North America, Tim Baxter, spoke only to CBS this morning and assured us the problem has been fixed. So this is a, maybe hopefully for you, a phoenix from the ashes mm -hmm. story, no pun intended. Take me back, if you would, lessons learned, what it was like getting the call and realizing the problem you had. Sure. Uh, I would say, um, without a doubt, Bill, it was uh, the most difficult 120 days of my career. Uh, you were dealing with a very fluid environment. Uh, you were dealing with safety concerns. And as an organization, we really pulled together and really guided ourselves around one simple thing. What's in the best interest of the consumer and consumer safety? What was the problem? Why were these phones igniting? Um, it was really two things, Bill. One, it was, um, it was both related to the battery. One was a supply uh, from one of our suppliers, the design of it. Um, did not properly uh, get executed. And the second one was actually in the process of ramping up their production. Um, they had some manufacturing issues. So those two sequential things created this double recall uh, or expanded recall that we, uh, that we had to manage through. Well, things were melting down. Uh, you appeared in a video. To be clear, the Note 7 with the new battery is safe. The battery cell issue is resolved. And then those turned out to be a problem. What did that do to your credibility? Now, it, was, uh, it, was, uh, a, um, it was a difficult experience. Um, I think the important piece, though, was to really reach out and be able to talk directly to the consumers. Uh, and Samsung owned that. We apologized. And we're continuing to learn from that and rebuild trust. But the most interesting part about this is I've had town halls. I've talked to dozens and dozens of consumers. We've held um, video chats to 10,000 people. The first question I always get, Bill, is when can I get the Note 8? The answer, soon. The Galaxy Note 8. After the company unveiled its new phone yesterday, features include live messaging. So you and I uh, can take a selfie. Okay. All right. There we okay. go. All right. <laughs> Hi, Gail and Nora. Oh, perfect. All right? Yeah. It animates messages as GIF files that can play on any phone. I'm going to launch my camera. Samsung also touts the phone's dual cameras, which allow users to soften the backgrounds of their photos. And the 6.3-inch screen can accommodate multiple programs running side by side. It gives me the calendar. It gives me the phone. I can just make a call and I can uh, continue to multitask. Like, look at this guy here, He's, he looks like, is that an iPhone? Yeah. Baxter admits the competitive environment <laughs> is intense. How you doing? Good, thanks. That's your chance, you can uh, convince him he's got the wrong phone. <laughs> I should have, that's right. Apple is expected to announce a new version of the iPhone next month, and Baxter says both companies will be targeting the more than 50 million Americans who become eligible for phone upgrades this fall. We're giving consumers choices, and they're going to have the opportunity to get the best from both brands, right. and, uh, and that's pretty exciting. Samsung expresses confidence that its battery problems are in the past. After last year's debacle, it added a new eight-point battery safety check with various tests, visual inspections, and x-rays. And while this is the first Note phone to come out since then, the company did roll out new versions of its Galaxy S line in the spring, helping Samsung regain the top spot in the global smartphone market. Is there any hint of a, of a lump in your chest as the 8 goes out, it ships out around the world, hoping that history doesn't repeat here? You know, we, we learned a lot as we went through. We implemented a number of new processes, not only the 8-point battery, but we established a forensic lab in Dallas so we can get on top of any issues that, uh, that occurred. Any of those lumps went away with the launch of the Galaxy S8, where we have shipped over 20 million devices without an incident. 
and we'll build upon that platform with the Node 8. So I feel much better coming into this launch. Samsung is taking presale orders starting today. Starts around 930 bucks. The company says it won't be available until middle of next month. And previous owners of the Note 7, you get a discount trading in your current. I like phone. how he says the company owned it. And Samsung sells more phones than iPhones. We're all sitting right here with iPhones. That feature is very cool. Yeah.